Hi hello everyone let us check uh, how to use IG scan utility with MG2540 let's begin IG scan utility is a scan utility for to connect any inkjet uh, printer so today i have uh, MG2540 so select the respective printer at this point of time my computer should connect uh, with the printer through usb cable so i have selected mg2540 and click settings so this settings will have a pre default features for each and every menu for example auto auto scan what would be the format where it will save and uh, if i'll go for or uh, photo scan document scan or uh, scan to scan and stitch scan gear so each one of the menu will have the respective defined settings this is that's what it's showing now and it's quite possible for you to replace or change to the destination to the color mode to the format so it's quite compatible but these are the de default uh, comes with the machine and the settings button it will show you the scanner and the interface and mode and keep everything as a default there is a main menu auto document and photo customs scan and stitch and scan gear so when i click auto the automatically the machine starts scanning it based on the function what you have set it up so you could see the processing light blinks which means it's communicating with ig scan utility then automatically the document will populate it so i ask for the pdf so my document has come in pdf The same way if you click for photo uh, primarily it's for color scanning and keep your uh, color document automatically it's get get scanned as as shown in the picture So once the scan is completed automatically you will get uh, the picture on the required format the similar way let's uh, do a scan and stitch scan and stitch is something like uh, you can scan the bigger paper and stitch into two for example you have original a3 and you want to scan two sided and the output should be a single a3 it's quite possible for that put one side of a3 into the scanner make sure what paper size you are going to use select the paper size and the format start scanning the page number 1 so once the machine scan the first page it it saves in the memory and it ask you for the second page let's turn the page into other side so that both the a4 can be stitched together and we will get one output as a3 click uh, pa scan page number 2 so now the page number 2 scanning once the page number 1 and 2 both scanned click save it will ask you whether you want to continue then if you want to continue you can click scan if you want to stop you can click exit so that this particular page is page will be saved in a pdf format so now we could see it scanned in one page so hope you like this clip thanks for watching